What is good, everybody? I'm back. What is good, everybody? I'm back with another video, and today I got a little beat breakdown, and it sounds like this. I posted the making of this beat on IG and on Instagram, and I got a ton of like messages and DMs saying, you need to show us a drill tutorial, you need to put us on game, you need you get it, yeah. <laughs> you need to put us on game, you need to show us like some gems, you know, show me how to do the 808 glides and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna lie, this is like my first drill beat, but it came out super fire though. So I'm gonna break that down, and I'm just gonna show you guys a couple gems along the way. <laughs> that boy clean. So if you guys watched the video of me on Spice where I'm showing you guys like about sampling and stuff, I actually got distracted while making the, that video and I made this beat. So the melody. So when it comes to the effects, all I did was use Pro EQ 3 to uh, take out the frequencies. This has actually been pretty handy because, uh, you know, I've definitely been like so used to the parametric EQ that this one I found the function and it's just been helpful ever since. I've been using it for like a month or so now. But when you play the melody, right? And then you hold on to it, it creates the, the shape of the wave. So you can actually see like what's the harsh resonating frequencies and you could just take it down like this super helpful the only additional thing that i did with it was just like put it to ascend and use super massive so if you listen to it uh, all the way up i'm all about textures i love textures like anybody that knows me knows i'm i'm I will mess with something until it feels right. I'll mess with it for like an hour or so. But I found this free VST, yes, free VST from Valhalla. It's called Supermassive. And it has a couple different like functions and presets that are really good. But I just used this, you know, the first one that pops up. Uh, I didn't do nothing else for this shit. <laughs> I didn't even change the pitch. I didn't do nothing. The only other thing I probably did was just like this, reverse it. And that's like super cool for like uh, adding emphasis and transitions and stuff because like I don't need to go in depth with that. I'm pretty sure you guys got that. The first thing I did was do, 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 do. hi hats. These hi hats. So for these hats, all I did was use the Drill and Atlanta MIDI from my uh, Locations MIDI pack. And uh, it's a whole bunch of hi-hats. If this is your first time watching me, I'm very big on hi-hat minis. I created like a whole series, even a video game for hi-hats. That's how much I love hi-hat minis. That bitch just saved my life. <laughs> Super simple, nothing cluttery. Really, when it comes to like drums, and this is like a small tip, but when it comes to drums, you want everything to be simple. So that way when everything is played all at once, it sounds complex. So case in point, you hear these pockets, right? I put this hi-hat in there just to kind of give it some like space. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this is actually the part two. I ended up saving that MIDI. Sometimes you just gotta lay your hats. And then, you know what I'm saying, snare. Nothing too crazy. That's super, uh, I mean, like I said, super simple. Only thing I did was play with the velocities. The velocity of notes really matters. So this would be like the main, right? And this right here will be like the ghost notes because the velocity is down. So it's more so felt than heard, so. It fills in that gap so you don't have to use a lot of drum sounds. Like, look at it. I only use one, two, you know, seven, maybe even, you know, six drum sounds. You know, you don't have to do too much. Just fill in the pockets. I added this uh, additional snare. And then this. It's like a, it's like a, uh, like a snare. 
So there's like no life, but it sounds like a percussion snare. A lot of people like, they sometimes ask like, why do certain people like put their drums on the grid? And you know, for some reason it just hits. It sounds a lot heavier. I don't know how to explain it better than that, but it just, for me, for some reason it hits. So this is the pattern. I noticed with like drill beats, it's really like bounce oriented. When it comes to like the patterns of like kick patterns and stuff, I noticed that they have like this, they have like this weird bounce where they'll have like the snare off on one, you'll, you'll see what I mean. There's no snare here. Like the, the snare kind of like, it stutters or it skips. I don't know how to explain it in like music theory terms because I don't know music theory like that, but. Like this snare should be like over here. It should be like. But you see how odd or weird that feels? They just kind of like move it to the side. It's kind of like they're throwing you off. Like you expect to hear it on the two and the four, but they kind of move it a little bit over. The last part is the 808. All right, so when it comes to the 808s, one thing I've noticed is it has to follow the kick, but it has to kind of like play off of it. So when it comes to the 808 glides, one thing that I like to do personally, this I, you don't have to do it, but it's just, it kind of always works for me. Whenever I'm doing the glides or whatever, I try to keep things within a triad. Triad is basically like the first chord anybody ever learns. It's basically just three notes. So if it's like in a C minor, it'll just be like these three. Whenever I'm like coming up with glides or anything like that, I either stick to like the root note or I'll stay within those three notes. So it'll be like the first, the third and then this is the fifth oh yeah for a lot of people asking too if you're like oh another thing is if you're trying to do the glide notes all you have to do is hit this on the upper left corner or you can just click it and then double click it and then click slide just because i'm using fl11 doesn't mean it's different than fl20 or anything like that it's the same thing and within context this is what it sounds like So that's gonna conclude the video today. Man, it's been a crazy week. <laughs> For sure, it has been. But I'm gonna go get some ice cream right now because it's finally nice in Chicago. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you guys wanna see down below. Follow me on TikTok and follow me on IG. And uh, I'm gonna catch you guys next time.